Hi kids, it's Bunny with another junk journal or treasure journal as I like to call it. Uh, let me zoom out just a hair. And um, if the tripod shakes, it's just my puppy bumping into it. So, I call this one Wings. And as we see uh, on the cover, we have a pretty lady with wings. And I've put lace all along the bottom hanging out and uh, pink rickrack around the picture and um, let me put my glasses on so I can see and it's all held together with a vintage pink sari ribbon which I will now remove and this is a pretty chunky girl here so I had to take some things out because it was so chunky but here we go. We start off, I continued the lace onto the inside to make a pocket in which we have a little mini journal for you to put extra notes in. It has a little teeny tiny pocket with a teeny tiny ephemera and a few different pages that you can journal onto. Give you a little extra journaling space and we start off with uh, our winged friends the birds and I think she's more of an angel than anything else and of course butterflies those are the three things we'll see in this journal the winged people and birds and butterflies a little lace on the edge uh, on this side we have a Vogue cover with a winged bride cover surrounded with uh, butterflies and our first pocket has in it a uh, pale blue green feather and here's a tag and a journaling card and that's the first pocket Continuing on, we have uh, some pretty just scrapbook paper. Um, here's a winged lady with a row of pearls and a pretty lace uh, skirt on the bottom. Some sheet music with a little uh, crocheted flower and a doily. And here's a cute little picture of three little girls with their wings on, pretending to be fairies, probably. I thought they were pretty adorable. And more paper to journal on. They're stamping throughout. Um, this is a piece of vintage wallpaper, and I put a little bling on it. And it's a butterfly and more lace. Um, this is the back of this, um, which I stamped a little angel on. This is a page from an old Audubon bird book. Um, one of my favorite natural artists, Audubon. And here's a little tuck which has some little journaling cards and a page from a bird book about bird song. And this is just a piece of pretty paper that you can use for extra space for journaling. And there's more of that in some of the other pockets throughout also. And here we have a little uh, ruffled piece of fabric. There's the other side of the wallpaper. More pages for journaling. Um, this is the back of some sheet music. Vintage sheet music. Here's another tuck. Little pretty birds. And they're guarding a tag and a ticket to 
Pacific Ocean Park and this is more pretty paper for journaling in. And the buttons on the tag which makes it a little bit harder to get in the pocket. But not impossible. Here's some more of the pretty scrapbook paper. Uh, here's a little glassine envelope that has some little pictures in it. Uh, I love this picture, this lady with the bird. It's so surreal looking and surrounded it with some pretty little uh, lace flowers. Um, that's the end of the first signature. Uh, dramatic winged lady. And this is also my favorite. This is a very interesting looking, regal looking lady with wings and some pretty uh, silk ribbon from India, which I love. And here's um, a page from uh, Edith and suddenly her name Escapes my mind. Holden. Edith Holden. The page from one of her books. And here's a little brown bag with uh, this vintage um, dance tally card people used at dances. And here's a, another pocket. This is from um, a vintage uh, German Valentine's card, I believe, and inside is another tag and some more paper and cards for journaling on and a little white feather. And there's more, there's a nesting bird and more paper for journaling on. This one I punched out little stars more music paper. Uh, I love this little picture. This sad looking uh, fairy. I don't know what she's so sad about. And pretty lace on the edge. Here's another cute picture of a little girl with her wings on. Looks like maybe she's getting ready to dance or something. And um, here's a uh, we have several of these pretty fabric uh, flowers in here. They're made by a friend of mine, Jane Geese, who has an Etsy shop called Clamonesta's Closet. I believe that's how you pronounce it. She makes pretty things. More pretty pictures. Um, scrapbook paper. Here's a doily pocket with a uh, crocheted flower. And we have a um, little seed packet and uh, more journaling cards and paper for journaling in. Um, here we have this really pretty envelope that has all sorts of lacy ruffles on it and it just unfolds and you can journal inside that. Or you can, you know, glue it shut and make it a regular functioning envelope. Put your love letters in it. Some more scrapbook paper. Um, Dance Lovers Magazine, Vintage Dancer, more pages for journaling, stampings, here's another pocket with more cards for journaling with pretty pictures on them, and a bag that has uh, more little journaling cards in it. Lots to 
explore. Cute little birdie. Now I did some uh, uh, stenciling too with a kind of lacy stencil. Some feathers. And here's the other side of the Edith Holden page. Um, I use this butterfly lady in another journal. I really like her a lot. And here are some little silk roses that I tea dyed so they wouldn't be too bright of a pink. This is um, an envelope from China, I believe. I just thought it looked interesting with the little um, figures and, and I did some uh, colored ink uh, dyeing on it and it's a pocket with a journaling card. Another one. Here's a beautiful peacock and added a little bling just to make it even extra beautiful. I love peacocks. Who doesn't? Here's a page from an old children's book, a song about the swan. It's a very old book. Um, another one of uh, Jane Geese's flowers on this doily. Um, and this is from uh, Edith Holden book also. Here's another tuck with teeny tiny envelope with some teeny tiny butterflies in it and more cards for journaling and paper for journaling. Here's another glassine envelope and it has several little cards in it including one that has various birds on it. There's a little flower. Um, this is a very intriguing looking lady with wings. I'm not sure if she's a fairy or what and I gave her a little fancy skirt also. And here's more sheet music. Here's another pocket with uh, various winged wonders and uh, I believe this is uh, poetry from uh, Alfred Lord Tennyson and another feather and of course the ubiquitous guest check. More lace and places to journal. Uh, cover of an old Collier's magazine. I'm not even sure they make that magazine anymore. Uh, here is more of the uh, children's book. Uh, another page that has the song Butterfly on Painted Wing. And I've held the two pages together with this washi tape. Here's the other side of the uh, Chinese envelope, which I've ink dyed and put some little cute things on. Here's the original envelope, and inside is another journaling card or two. Oh, here's some beautiful blue butterflies. With a uh, uh, Brad, a Brad with a um, dragonfly on it. This beautiful lady, surrounded by birds, is accompanied by another uh, beautiful uh, ribbon from India, which has sparkling sequins on it. Here's a uh, British garden birds, in case you're wondering what kind of birds they have. And if you're British, you already know. Here's another pocket. 
with ephemera, um, glassine pocket with some pictures inside. Here's a page from a bird book talking about bird field marks. And another piece of paper for journaling. Here is a vintage uh, crochet doily. Very old. On this bag there's more cards for journaling. More doilies. Um, this is uh, another piece of vintage wallpaper. And here's a dancer with wings and a little bit of a blingy uh, brad there. Another pocket with more winged wonders. A tag. the other side of the wallpaper. La Vie Parisienne it was a French magazine that had very interesting covers. And the other side of the bag which I added some things to. Here's another uh, pocket or tuck with a flying fish it looks like and other beautiful wonders. Cute little bird. And these ladies uh, cap it all off, say goodbye with these beautiful ladies. Here's the inside of the back cover which also has a pocket of lace in which I've put a large tag and more journaling paper and uh, red feather. There we go. And that's it. That's the Wings Journal. And uh, if you're interested in buying it, just go to my Etsy shop. The information is below. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.